What's up guys, welcome to One Hill Farms, and in today's video, I'm going to show y'all how to can a squirrel with eggs. This is my first time using it, I'm going to see if it really works. This process is about a, is supposed to take a day or two, maybe even three. This is actually my first time ever skinning a squirrel or anything, that's the reason we didn't skin it and show y'all doing it. I just wanted to make sure I did it right so I could get a hang on how to do it. But they say you just get the egg yolk. So I had them on this board, nailed to this board out flat. So, and I made sure everything was clean off of them. And it actually looked really good, except for that little patch. But, you know, it's okay. It's my first time doing it. So it says you just want the egg yolk. So I had this egg splitter. It just holds the yolk. And I'm just going to crack this egg into there. And I'm just going to shake it and just get that yolk by itself okay now we got the yolk by itself I'm just gonna pour it onto the squirrel look at this there's the goats in the background but uh I'm not, this feel this is gonna feel weird but you, they say I've watched videos and I've read online that you just rub it in So you're gonna do I'm just gonna make sure I get it all down the tail. And there are multiple other ways to do it. They say this is the easiest way, but I've never heard this way before. I've heard of it you can use the animal's brain and mix it with water and it's called brain tan in it. That's what the Native American Jews I know of. And um but this way I've heard is a lot it's cheaper and easier to you do. So I'm just gonna make sure it's in everywhere. And then I'll show y'all what I'm gonna do next. Alright guys, now I have my squirrel hide with all the with the egg yolk on it. it says you want to get a damp paper towel or a damp rag and put it on it like this. Uh I just soaked it in water and then wrung it out in the sink. And then now it's right here. Um I don't it says you're supposed to do this for about two to three days and um but so i'm just gonna keep it on this board and i'm gonna play place it in a flat piece in the shed and then i'll show y'all how that is when i get there so in my shed here i, I cleared off a little space where i'm gonna leave it and make sure you're it's in a place that's protected from an outdoor animal especially if you have an outdoor cat I remember when I was drawing this uh, squirrel out, my cat actually got into it the first day and kind of messed with its tail, but it wasn't a, really a big deal. It didn't damage it too bad. But uh, I'm just going to leave it right here, make sure the door is closed and, and locked, and just make sure it's in a nice ventilated place. And I'll see y'all. So today's Monday. I'll either see y'all Wednesday or Thursday's Thanksgiving. So see y'all later. All right, guys, so it's finally done. Uh, it's been about three or four days. Uh, it's Thursday now. We just want to say happy Thanksgiving to y'all. We just got done eating. And uh, this is the first. I've seen the fur and everything. But this is the first time I've pulled the napkin off. So. As you can see the egg yolk did soak up into the napkin. Which is a good thing. I'm just going to slowly rip it off. Slowly. I'm glad it doesn't leave any remnants of like the napkin really. I thought it would, but it doesn't. And it's gonna it's just gonna come right off. And um take it off. Just gonna dry it off and this is peeling off pretty easy. This egg yolk is peeling off in little flakes and that's but that's it. And then I'll catch up with it when I'm after when I'm done. But it's folding now. It was stiff. But now it's folded, so um, it's uh, so it's almost ready. It's looking really good. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit, and I'll show y'all exactly what I do. All right, guys. So um, T and the family just left, so um, I got back out this squirrel hide, and I'm gonna show y'all what I do. So there, you can see the egg yolk on there. I'm just gonna peel that off, and it's actually coming off pretty good, and it feels nice and dry underneath it. And then after um, I scratch off all the yolk, I'm going to stretch it, and then I'll show you all that part. Alright, so now i got most of this, the egg off. 
I ended up getting a little stick with a little end on it, and it just like started coming off in big sheets. But um, you're supposed to stretch it. The way I had it pinned on a board, I believe I already stretched it that way. But I've seen people they uh, like they get two hands and they pull it and it stretches. But every time I do that, it doesn't. Like you can see the fibers move, but when I do it, it doesn't budge or anything. So be sure to tell me down in the comments what I did wrong. Or if I just nailed it to the board tight enough. But when I nailed it to the board, I nailed it tight. But I really like the outlook of it. I don't know what that patch is from. I think I accidentally cut uh, something off when I was skinning it. But uh, I really like it. Uh, tell me down below in the comments what y'all would, would do with it. Because uh, I'm thinking about some ideas what I could do with it. So I might just hang it up in my room just as my first squirrel. But be sh thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share it to your fr friends and fam family. Um, because I have seen that we'll gain a few subscribers. Like we're at 120 right now. We did have 123 subscribers and then now we're down to 120. But uh, just thank y'all for watching. And be sure to look down at the links in the description. And check out quarterwormlores.com.